morning, ladies and gentlemen. The term valedictorian is an academic title of success. It's used to recognize a student who delivers the closing address at a graduation ceremony, and that term is derived from the Latin to say farewell. As the valedictory address generally is considered a final send off to fellow classmates before they disperse to points around the globe. And in this case, that's absolutely true. Off around the globe to pursue your individual paths after graduation. This year's valedictorian served as our regimental academics officer. In that capacity, he made a huge positive impact on all the students at this academy by managing our campus peer tutoring program under conditions of great import. He also navigated our course of study nearly flawlessly, achieving an impressive 3.985 grade point average It is indeed a great pleasure to introduce a truly exceptional member of the great class of 2022, this year's valedictorian from Sitka, Alaska, Midshipman Anders B. Marius. Good morning. Secretary Buttigieg, General Van Ovost, Maritime Administrator Admiral Phillips, the Honorable Congressman Garabino, Vice Admiral Bono, Rear Admiral Dunlap, Rear Admiral Ballard, Captain Stroud, Captain Straub, Captain Aquero, other honored guests, families, hi mom. Friends, regiment of midshipmen, and of course, the class of 2022. For the past four years, we've been inundated with tales about successful alumni, the opportunities we have, and the unwritten promise that we too will be successful because we are King's Pointers. I've often thought about why that is, what makes our experiences here at the Merchant Marine Academy so unique and rewarding that our alumni continuously win the All Academy Challenge, freely and openly support fellow alumni and midshipmen and revel in success together. After three years, 50 weeks, six days, one hour and 25 minutes, who's counting, at the Merchant Marine Academy, I believe I know the answer. Kappa Pi Sigma. <laughs> All of the men and women seated before you know the daily trials and tribulations we endure as King's Pointers. Our minds are strained by teachers whose lesson plans often fall short of education, yet demand mastery with material on the test. We have been frustrated by the Merchant Marine Academy's Bermuda Triangle of bureaucracy, governed by the mighty corners of the Department of Transportation, the Navy, and the Coast Guard, into which most of our best ideas fall, stymied. Our bodies are hardened with our favorite meal of chicken sushi. We are athletes of peak physical performance, capable of running a mile and a half in under 12 minutes, fueled by lunchtime chicken tenders, onion rings, and the elusive stromboli. We shower in cold water because the water heaters do not work. We complete online classes without power or internet. Some may call that impossible, but we just called it another Tuesday. Despite the challenges thrown at us, we prevail. Our spirits have been tested through sequestration, both on campus and abroad amid the pandemic. We navigated coercion to receive shots we neither wanted nor needed. We have mourned the loss of classmates that they have left or been kicked out. And as plebes, we survived the ridicule of bald heads, backpack straps we couldn't use, and harsh punishments in the name of discipline. I'm sure we can all agree that there have been some pretty sucky times over the past four years. Yet, in truth, it really wasn't all bad. As we suffered through lackluster teachers, challenging coursework and class punishments, our class grew into a unit. We developed a high level of teamwork and loyalty that is unparalleled by any institution. Individuals do not graduate from King's Point. Classes do. 
I would not be standing here today if I did not have my sea partner, Owen Trent, to keep me sane through both sailings. Or Andrew Nolan and Colton Ramsey, with whom I completed countless group projects. Or my beautiful girlfriend, Raven Kirsch, who was my number one cheerleader throughout my entire time here. And none of us would be here if we did not have the support of our fellow classmates. If Kings Point didn't try us, we never would have found the impetus to join together and realize the strength of teamwork in the face of adversity. They say misery likes company, and that is certainly true here. At the same time, for every rough teacher or leader we encountered throughout our education, there was at least one who truly cared and helped guide us. We are forever grateful to Captain Tish, Captain Hall, and Professor Garofalo for, de for devoting so much of their time and expertise beyond what was required to ensure our classmates had the skills and knowledge to succeed. We are also grateful to leaders like Lieutenant Yeager, uh, Lieutenant Commander Nixon, for giving us role models to follow in leadership. And last, I may be biased since I worked with them as the former regimental academic officer, but we are grateful to Captain Aquero and Dr. Albert and the ACE, the Academic Center for Excellence, and their tireless efforts to support us to the best of their ability. Without poor leaders, we would neither appreciate nor recognize the good ones, which makes us all the more grateful for the exemplary ones. The mission of the United States Merchant Marine Academy is to educate and graduate leaders of exemplary character. Our single greatest asset as an institution, and the thing of which I am most proud, is that it sucks. When I look back on our last four years together, I fondly and proudly remember how sucky it was. We rose to meet any challenge that faced us. We learned true gratitude for the simple things in life like hot water, electricity, sleeping in, and backpack straps. And we bled both each other and those beneath us to make King's Point great again in the wake of COVID. Therefore, I am unfathomably excited to see what the truly terrific class of 2022 will accomplish in the real world. Our shared trying times have forged each of us into a leader of exemplary character, equipped to navigate dynamic environments, challenging conditions, and downright sucky times. I hope you are all as proud as I am to have persevered through King's Point. I would not have had it any other way. Congratulations, 2022. We did it. Kappa Pi Sigma, thank you.